Hey everybody, welcome back. It's day four. <laughs> oh, of the gold. It's day. It's day five. It's day five. It's day five of the Golden Goblet, I believe. I don't know. We're just we're just doing them. We're doing the dailies as they come. Yesterday, um, I thought we finished pretty strong. In the three hundreds, in the three hundreds with a fourteen hundred score, I can live with that. Um, but today's daily. Did I go two back? I might have gone two back by accident. Start with five colorless cards. Colorless cards appear in rewards. Resting heals 100%. However, costs five max HP. Seems like a much harder start, but it does depend on what the colorless cards we start with are. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty great, I think. Uh... Potentially pretty good. This is the only one. Actually, you know what? I think I like that, too. I think I like this so far. Now, we don't have flight, so we actually, for once, have to choose our path appropriately. And we'll just default to best elite path. Which, for me, I really like this kind of run-up right here. I think this will serve us well. So, again, I think, like, honestly... I, I might look like a fool saying this, considering I don't even know how Day 4 shook out yet, but I feel pretty good about it. Um, we have nothing in our draw pile, huh? And three random colorless cards into your hands. I'm going to give this a shot, okay? I just want to see how this looks right now. Five block, you lose nine strength. I'm a big fan of that. Shuffle three random skills into your draw pile. And then I thought maybe, I don't know, Secret Weapon could work. Put three random attacks from your draw pile into your hand. <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to do anything, but I was like, we might as well exhaust it, I guess. So we got a better turn this time. Um, this, is, this is weird. But what I was going to say is, it would not surprise me if we managed to eke out. As it appears right now, it would not surprise me if we managed to eke out five or... Dare I say, even six victories in this Golden Goblet. And I could really use that from a macro sense. I've won three games once, four games once, one game once. To do better would be amazing. Let's not count our chickens yet. I was up 3-1 on day four of the Hitman Golden Goblet. Lost 3-4. to four. Anything could happen, dude. Out of all these, I think I actually like Thunderclap the most right now. Go ahead and pull a card out of this deck. I think you should pull a basic strike out early. I know we need damage, but we have attacks. Straight up, I think you do it like this. That's my dream here. Is it my dream here? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is my dream here. Okay, hold on. So we'll start here. It doesn't really matter. There. Now, two attacks will do... Yeah, that'll do enough, I think. Do we? Are we drawing a strike next turn? Not necessarily. But, um, admittedly, Secret Weapon will help us draw an attack. Give me this for zero, and we're good. Okay. So, again, let's not get too overconfident. You know, it's early. I don't mind cleave. I really, I'm stacking AOE early here just because uh, I know that one of the bosses specifically uh, is, is AOE focused. Thunderclap will also purge their artifact, which is really nice for me. Right now, everything's going to be easy early on, but things that could change pretty quick. I like all this, but I think clothesline is probably our best bet. And we'll go for an upgrade here, but what do you upgrade? Four random attacks. You don't get two vulnerability. Two weak to all enemies is pretty strong. This not exhausting is pretty strong. X upgraded colorless cards. I think we'll start with blinds. And these are the guys you want to fight. <laughs> uh, we might get hit on turn one though. Let's see. Oh, this is a big start for sure. Uh, and if I weaken you, I think we're still going to get hit. So let's just focus on, on getting through this one uh, as quickly as possible. As safely as possible, really. 
We want to keep our health high enough that we can upgrade more. Because I think this is a much different uh, deck than, than we're used to running here. Honestly, let's give it a shot. Not very good. Like the last run that we did... Do we want Cleave? Thunderclap? I mean, we have no other attacks. I actually think we should take Bash. And then focus on getting you out ASAP. Um, but yeah, like our last deck, uh, we rested a lot and we attacked a lot of Elites. The last daily run, I guess I should say. Um, this one, I think is going to be... So far, when I look at it, I look at it as if it's going to be played a little bit more like a traditional... Um, yeah. A traditional sort of... Uh, Slay the Spire run. This this might be, you know, the Slay the Spire runs come in two variants on daily challenges. Ones that are just insanely easy. I do kind of like that, to be honest. And then ones that are a little bit trickier than your average daily. I think this one might be one of those ones that is just uh, a little bit trickier than your average. So question marks are going to be very nice for us from this point onwards. I... To be honest with you, we'll take the Whirlwind and we'll look for strength upgrades, but I thought we'd have more money by this point. Mostly because I've been uh, conditioned by our other dailies to believe that this is going to be, like, you know, super easy because they've been a walk in the park so far, except for the first one we lost. But, I mean, that was, to be honest, that was just tough. Because of Shuriken, it is tempting, but I actually don't think we have to. Pop this, though. Might get a potion after this anyway. So what are we waiting for? Good question. I mean, secret weapon. Yeah, I think this is fine. I think you do secret weapon bash. Even though it's going to wake him up. And then you just smack him. And impatience doesn't do anything. That's what I'm worried about with impatience, honestly. is that That's going to happen a lot, probably. Three random attacks. There are none, but I, I... That was actually just, like, super wrong. You definitely should not play it there. Now, do I want one strength upgrade? I don't think so. I think I'd rather just hit you for 36 damage. The strength, it, it is going to play a role, but I don't think it's playing that role just yet. We might as well do this. Honestly, Clothesline is probably better than rolling the dice on Transmutation, which we could always yeet for zero if we wanted to. All right, so these are big moments. We honestly got a pretty solid draw there. We need to do 14 damage while you're vulnerable. Easy enough. Can't complain. Shovel is very interesting. That's very interesting. I think we could use a block, like Ghostly Armor. And uh, to be honest with you, I think we should dig. The, the relics could make up a huge difference on this run in terms of, like, our score, to be honest. I'm willing to, because we got a, a blood potion, I'm willing to cut, I think, uh, I think I'll cut another basic strike out of the deck. I don't, I don't know, you know, I'm gonna take anger. I am gonna take anger. But I am gonna rest before the boss fight, I think. Am I going to rest before the boss fight? It's a touchy one. 20% of 90 is about 18. Ah, screw it. Let's go for it. Regal pillow. There's some irony there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Might be slightly spicy. Look at this, though. Strength upgrade right off the bat. Lots of damage, too. We can always take the first hit. You know it, I know it. That's pretty good. Mayhem is, like, insanely good. I don't want to exhaust the slime. I hate to lose ghostly armor, but it is what it is. 26 damage. Honestly, I think I should try to smoke you. We have to do 18 damage. Oh, I don't know, though. It's, it's touchy. <laughs> like, how much damage are you going to do, uh, Whirlwind? 8, which would actually be 9. 27. I think, though it pains me greatly, I think we take the 26 damage. 
and hope to draw Whirlwind ASAP. Actually, oh, I, I, we're going. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Now actually drawing Whirlwind um, now would be incredible. Okay, so that went totally fine. Very fast as well so far. Um, thinking ahead is pretty good. But of course, you know, Juggernaut is very tempting. I think Juggernaut is a little bit more useful long term. No more smithing allowed. I honestly think we can take that because... I mean, I want to upgrade our cards, don't get me wrong. But because we have the ability to dig, I think that we probably won't smith as much as we used to anyway. Now, we're going to start here, but to fight two elites is going to be touchy. To fight both these elites, I'm, I'm not totally convinced that's going to be the, the way forward for us. I don't know. Honestly, like, I'm looking at this run, and I'm, I'm thinking that this run is fraught with peril. I think that this run, uh, just to be straight up with you, is, is going to be difficult. That feels nice, though. Liquid Bronze, pretty good. We want Armaments, but how are we going to upgrade Armaments? Pretty good question, honestly. I think we actually just pivot off of that and take nothing. We always were going to go for this. This time it is the Necronomicon. We don't have too many two-cost attacks, but when we make that work with Whirlwind, it'll be nice. Upgraded Bash, pretty good. And we'll take extra strength on turn one. I think it's just... It comes with no negative, which makes it so nice. So what would you rather what would you rather pop off with here? I think you definitely start Yeah, I think you definitely start here. We might as well do the one that does more damage. And then we can transmute one card out here. That's actually not too bad. Still pretty nice, honestly. Take a little damage, but this guy, you always take a little damage against this guy. He's a pain in the butt. So we always seek Whirlwind. Whirlwind plus Necronomicon is, is extraordinarily good. Um, I don't really buy any of these other ones. I, I'm not... Uh, just heal me because we're going for it, dude. I'm not really against adding new cards. And that's... It's honest. I think we're going to transmute here, dude. Juggernaut. It's not Juggernaut, dude. Sadistic nature. What's happening? <laughs> I can't get you. Even with this, I can't get you. I would love to get you, but I can't get you. That's okay. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Basically, it's, it's incredibly simple. We want to draw Whirlwind constantly. If we don't, it sucks. Oh, that, a debuff, three damage to all enemies? No, just to randoms. Hold on, we should go for most damage then. This will kill you too. We still need a solution to the fact that we're taking a lot of damage. Omamori is pretty nice. I think I kind of like that, to be honest. Okay, you, we got to get through this one pretty well. <laughs> so I think this is very nice. I'm kind of tempted to do that. I, I honestly think we should. I know we have an elite coming up, but I really want to make sure we get the HP. We got a potion anyway, so I do like that. And Iron Wave is a great pickup for us. It would have been nice here as well. I'll, I'll admit that quite readily. I think we will play Juggernaut. Then we'll also... We don't need... Uh, we do need a skill potion early, actually. Limit break. It's actually quite nice, to be honest, right now. And then, kind of like, secret technique. To draw secret weapon. Secret weapon. To draw whirlwinds. Then a doubled up whirlwinds. We're still taking damage in the process, but... We're, we're way out in front. Th 
That's really good. Okay, so we're gonna live. This is one of those runs. This is not a run where you look at it and you go, we're gonna get a great score necessarily. It's a run where even just survival is a little tricky. <laughs> like, Iron Wave is so good for us. But so is Spot Weakness, dude. Spot Weakness is pretty solid, but honestly, I think we're I think we're all about Iron Wave right now. Ceramic Fish is a financial solution. And we will rest. We will rest. Ah, but it costs us max HP to rest. I still think it has to be done. But maybe we won't have to rest before the boss fight. So here, I think I can definitely give you a basic defend. Keep the deck moving. Lantern is really pretty good. So is uh, Hand Drill. When enemies block. I think we can roll with that. But, but Lantern, I think, in particular is going to be nice. This guy's going to be a pain in the butt, though. Honestly, you could Thorns this guy pretty easily. Turn 1's not that great, but in the future, this will do work. Little damage. The Perfect was unlikely to begin with. Um, I mean, you, you just kind of like a uh, big Whirlwind on this one, right? We could Iron Wave first. It costs us a slight bit, but not much. That's really nice. And then we can just take our best zero-cost attack, which in this case is our only zero-cost attack. And toast him. Bronze scales, pretty nice. Headbutt, I actually think most of the time I'm a little bit more bearish on headbutt lately, but headbutt does allow us... Um, I think we'd rather double up on vulnerability. Headbutt does allow us uh, to bring back Whirlwind so much faster. And that's going to be a necessity on a lot of these fights, I think. So I, I think we're pretty lucky. We aren't going to have to rest for the boss fight. Uh, I do kind of like True Grit pre-upgraded, honestly. And we'll dig. Can't really complain. It hasn't been huge for us. And against this guy, we want a power early. And I was just going to say, a great one would be Demon Form. Um, I know what you're thinking, obviously, on this one. I'm just thinking, is there anything that's more beneficial? I, I don't think so. Um, I do think you like the Whirlwind early. Just checking. We're going to take some hits. That, by the way, that's going to be typical. This fight is, is going to have some, some spice attached to it at moments. But I think, honestly, we kind of, we almost win better by stalling. Because we're going to have more strength than he will. Probably. Um, we've done no attacks. I kind of like secret technique. Violence. And I want all these upgraded as soon as possible, for sure. Uh, but for now, I'm like, you know what? Take the vulnerability. And then just get rid of, probably defend for now. We take a little damage, but this would be a great turn to just hit the crap out of you. But it's not going to happen. Although, hold on. What if we brought back Whirlwind right now with this? Yeah, I'm for it. <laughs> I am very for it. This guy still hits like a freaking truck, but... So don't get too cocky. We really got lucky getting Demon Form as our, uh, as our pill there. Or as our power, I should say. We're not really rolling like a, the kind of deck that this makes sense to use, I think. But I think Master of Strategy is always good. Uh, Sneko I... I honest, almost all the time I like it, but I, I straight up think it's just too early. But is it too early? Because we have, uh... 
All, both of the other relics are kind of stinky, I think. Transform all strikes and defends. We only have six of them. I actually kind of like transform and upgrade three cards. It's a little lame, but... So I think we just added a couple of defends. I think we definitely can afford to yeet two strikes, one defend. Corruption and two secret weapons? <laughs> it's just weird. It's just a weird deck now. Um, so there is... There's double elite path. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna be honest with you. Double elite path looks horrible. I'm gonna go single elite path and try to... I'm gonna coast to survivability, I think. Though it may make me a coward. You're gonna do 20 damage? Like, it's so rude. Tell you what, we'll split the difference here. Well, that was fun. Um, secret technique. Sure, I mean, we have a lot of them. We can use secret technique to get uh, probably blind, I think, is our best play. This is the kind of daily that, to be honest, I like the most out of all the dailies in Slay the Spire. Because it's not automatic. Oh, we have a, we have a freaking attack, dude. Start here? I was just going to say, we want to just draw a whirlwind. I honestly think we could use a lot more draw. I don't want to thicken the deck too much right now. If anything, I want to get to whirlwind faster. That's that's our our true money maker. I'm worried actually. I, I'm worried about the boss fight. I think I gotta try to take you out. You're definitely going to get taken out, obviously, but... Just wanted to make sure we had it. Oh, we don't have the... Uh, I thought we had enough to not take damage. It's minor. Like, we're basically just stalling, and then when we draw a Whirlwind, it's over. And we draw a Whirlwind as soon as we draw either a secret weapon or a secret technique, which is probably just a good thing to keep in mind. At this point, I think we could use a flex. I would like more draw, and this one came upgraded, unlike the one we saw earlier. Give me Sling of Courage, even though we might only use it for one more fight. And I, I think more, the more shrugs, the merrier, plus it's draw. Whirlwind, please. Uh, unfortunately, we have to bash first here. Or we could shrug. Uh, then bash. Then iron wave now. Violence. Unfortunately, did draw a whirlwind, which is... Let's, let's, you know, not go too far. Devastating is probably a too strong of a word, especially considering everything went fine. But whirlwind really is your I win instantly card. But what about this? Secret weapon, headbutt. Headbutt brings back whirlwind. Secret weapon, whirlwind. <laughs> now we're talking. To be honest, I, I love Shrug. But I kind of like an Armaments here as well for longer fights. I think that'll, that'll do something for us. I think that'll, that'll work. One of those in the deck makes me a pretty happy man. So, of course, I'm like, yeah, this is pretty good. It's 150 damage. In fact, if we pop this... Yeah, I think it's a good time to do it. I, I honestly just hate this creature. Oh, no, no, no. It might not get you. It might not get you. Oh, I got you. Good fight. Uh, we'll dig. I'm proud as well that we came up with a game plan on this run. And it worked. Or at least it's, it's worked up to this point. You know, what was the game plan, you might ask? No, we definitely do not want this. Um, the game plan was uh, no more smithing, looting exclusively. Wow, we got that for free, but it was only one damage. Yeah, it, it, I mean, the, the plan was no more smithing. And again, it worked out. So, I, I, there's no way for us to gain any block. I don't even think we play Secret Weapon. We probably won't get to play it again, but there's no real reason to play it now. 
Um, I don't know what that means. I guess we were. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why we got that, but I'm not. I'm not upset about it. I'm just a little surprised, I guess. Put a card from your hand on the bottom of your draw pile. Because I really just want to. No whirlwind, huh? Like secret weapon. Headbutt. Headbutt you. Bring back whirlwinds. Work with me on this one. Iron Wave. Impatience. Play your Whirlwind. It's a lot of damage, but it's like, at the end of the day, it's just not that good. We'll play this for strength, though. I'd, I, I don't relish the, the thought of slow playing this one, either, just for the record. But that's, you know, it's where we're at. No whirlwind. Thank you for no whirlwind. Much appreciated. I don't think we want anything there. We'll just wait it out. We should have you this turn. That's a very, very great start in conjunction with everything else as well. It's not too bad of a fight. I do like Discovery, but without it being upgraded, it's worth a little less. And we will dig. Toxic Egg, very nice. I could feel a little bit more comfortable adding cards. Pen Nib, very nice. I think we dodged the shop, honestly. I think we dodged the shop. I think we lose 4 max HP. That doesn't bother me that much. I'm just gonna level with you. I don't know if we'll win, for one. We don't really need the block, so we might as well get this going. I don't think we draw either. Um, I don't know if we'll win. If uh, Malf or Dan win, they deserve a lot of credit for their performance on today's episode, in my opinion. I think this is a very touchy one. It's certainly... I mean, we don't know if we're going to win yet. Like, if we're going to survive. And we did lose one run in the past. Shouldn't have used Pen Nib there. Um, so maybe it'll get a lot easier, or maybe it'll get freaking impossible at some point in the future. But for now, I think this is the hardest daily up to this point. So we only got to survive this guy one more turn. I think you just like that. And then the secret technique. Just give me violence. There's n there's none. There's none. So we are going to take some damage at the end of that. That hurts. But we're going to rest anyway. It's not too bad. More shrugs is always going to be great here. We will absolutely dig again. Stone calendar is pretty sweet. Okay, so we can kill any any creature we choose. I think we actually do it like this. Oh, because we can't quite get you. Six damage. I, I'm going to accept this one. To Even if we do take one damage, to get this guy killed ASAP, so we only have to deal with one spiker, is like, it's a dream come true in my world. We have pen nib right now. But still, we just do it like this. This guy is still going to be a pain in the butt. But hopefully we can just one-tap him at some point. Should have done this in a different order, I think. But it is what it is. It's a good turn to attack, honestly. Uh, but we don't, have any, we don't have anything to attack with. So, pass turn. I honestly think that Stone Calendar is going to do enough. Don't really want to play those. I think Stone Calendar is going to do enough to beat uh, Donu Deca, to be honest. Incredible. 
I wouldn't call myself cautiously optimistic or cautiously pessimistic. I think I'm just, that's where I'm at. So this is gonna hurt a little. We lose two, I'll do it again. I'll, I'll take that, I don't mind. And honest, I love the shrugs, dude. The more shrugs, the merrier. Sure. Why don't you go ahead and, and raise my max HP and also restore all my HP, let me dig. Centennial puzzle, probably not gonna be. You're not Donu Deka, but also you are power focused and that doesn't really bother me. So honestly, we're never gonna get a better time to pop this. Although it would have been a better time to get some HP out of it, but that's okay. I think we'd rather redraw flex. And we know we're taking damage. That's just that's just where we're at. Two turntables and a microphone. Start here. Pen nib. Pen nib to me is when you bust this out for sure. Seemed pretty shrewd. I still, it's tight. It's tighter than it looks, honestly. <laughs> but like, it is though. Mostly because apparently we have no blocks <laughs> in our ecosystem. 16 is not that bad. We got this for 5 HP when we need it. No attacks in there, huh? Not a single attack. That's okay. Because we can we already have enough block. Let's transmute then. Not not a problem. Everything's okay. That'll be actually pretty helpful. 40 damage is not a ton, but it's still it's still nice. We need to overdraw. And then honestly, I we could secret weapon whirlwind. I really would rather not. To draw it for free is I don't want to call it a different story, but basically it was like I don't want to I don't want to lose Whirlwind so quickly for so little. But this is, it's hot. This is a hot one. Is this a good Whirlwind turn? Because we can get it back. I think it, it I did it, uh, I didn't do it wrong. We did get it back with Pen Nib as well. But we're taking quite a lot of damage. <laughs> now it's like, it's really all about survival. That's helpful. Stone Calendar, great work. Now we can play powers too. We should use our potion if it will save us from lethality. No good secret weapon, and no good secret technique. Oh, there is one? Oh, the, no good secret weapon. That's right. Take no damage, but become voided. So here... Remove this. Probably remove... No, because we could use that on this turn. But I think we're very slightly not dead, dude. Let's go. And it comes down to this. So you will pick up Whirlwinds. And you will get a kill. And I think we played a really, really solid daily today. 791 damage is low, but this was a hot one. This was this was not an easy daily, and I'm I'm pretty impressed with myself just for getting through it, to be honest. Fair enough. Fair enough. We'll see how everybody else does. For now, though, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. Well, it's the villainous Tyler Glale. And I'll see you next time. See ya!